Good morning, folks. We're going to go over the last 24 hours of space weather, see the endless spirals for the CME from the X-Class Flare, see a stealth CME from this morning, and hit two good science articles as well. The last day on the sun was quieter. Minor flares, pops, filament surges, and the corona hole begins turning towards the limb. No more eruptions aimed at Earth, so let's go to the analysis of the X-Class event. As you will recall, it happened near the limb on the north, but the coronal shock wave implied a wide burst CME had taken place. We were able to confirm that by seeing the halo effect on SOHO coronagraphs, indicating that the CME would indeed impact Earth. The endless spiral is now updated, and you can see it accurately captures the full breadth of the wide plasma cloud. So, what should we expect when this hits Earth? Well, first of all, the previous space weather has been weak, so it is unlikely that the highest level of the forecast, KP8 level 4 storms, will occur. But KP6 or 7 is likely, and that means we will probably see only minor regionalized or localized power issues, with similar risk to the more expansive technological systems. They are more likely to be outages rather than destructive losses of infrastructure. We should expect enhanced wind and storm conditions for two days coming with the low-pressure cells. There will be increased incidence of seizure, migraine, cardiac, and psychological issues by 5-15%, to and the earthquakes and volcanoes are likely to be in moderate uptick over the next week. Big picture, high chance of minor impacts to nearly all systems, less than 1% chance of severe impacts. We did have a stealth CME erupt this morning, but it's not aimed at Earth. You can see it coming off the bottom right corner there. This was a breakout of the highest level fields, and stealth CMEs don't require flaring or near-surface activity at all. You can see how many of the arching fields go off the frame of the satellite, and those are what had a breakout this morning for that stealth CME event. Interesting article here on the recent surge in concern about radiation for aircraft, especially solar proton events. It's very nicely timed as they will get a chance to monitor those conditions when the CME impacts here at some point in the next day. Link to that is below. And finally, we have a great paper on solar forcing of sudden stratospheric warmings and the breakdown of the polar vortex. High solar flaring activity triggers it more often, leading to warmer conditions. It's just one more in a long list of how higher solar activity can warm the world. Link to that one is below as well, but the first link in the description box is to get tickets to our Blitz tour. If you missed it, we added the Charlotte event. A couple others are very close to being sold out, so make your plans to come see us. We look forward to seeing you. We greatly appreciate your support. CME impact expected within the next 24 hours. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.